In this tutorial, we'll add a simple and reusable health system to our game. Let's see how that's done. And once again, we find ourselves in Unity to refactor the health script that we have made in the second episode of the tutorial series. So let's first of all actually duplicate the sixth scene and make it a seven health. And let's also open that up. We don't necessarily need it, but I think that that's gonna be even better. So let's open up our health script and let's actually change a few things over here. So first things first, we're going to actually delete the mana and the experience here, as well as of course this one and the negative health in the start as well. We're going to make the health field private and make this a serialized field just so that's a little bit nicer. We actually don't need the start method anymore. We only need an update method and a few other methods that we will need to use. So let's actually get rid of all of this and let's then add those methods. So one of the things that we want to do is we want to be able to damage whoever has this health script. So we're going to have a public void damage with an integer. Let's call this amount. This will simply do this health minus equals amount. That should make sense and that shouldn't be crazy. So if we call this method, then health gets decreased by whatever amount we pass it. Now the real issue when you think about it is that what happens if we were to pass in a negative amount? Now there's multiple ways that you can deal with this. We can change this to an unsigned integer. We won't get into that right now. I think what we're going to do is we're simply going to check whether or not this amount is actually smaller than zero. And if it is, what we're going to do is we're going to actually scream, now metaphorically speaking, so we're going to actually throw a new system.argument out of range exception. We're going to say cannot have negative damage because that's just the truth. We can't have negative damage because that would be healing. And that's actually a very good segue to our next thing that we want, and that would be heal. As well, a, an integer amount. This dot health is plus equals amount. But here, the same thing goes. If we pass in a negative number, that would be damage. So what we can do is we can simply copy this over. So marking this control C, control V to pass it in and say we cannot have negative healing. But now another question arises, and that is, well, what if we have a max health? H how would we do that? Well, we can basically do this by having another private integer here. We're going to call this max health. I'm going to basically put this into like caps lock here, it would also be called screen case or something similar like that, because usually constants are one convention that one might follow. The reason I'm doing this is simply so that, you know, okay, this is a semi constant, but we're not going to make it constant. Because maybe in game you want the ability to actually pick up some power ups or something similar that increases the health, the max health. So I wouldn't put this into a const, I would put this into a normal integer. And then before we're actually doing this, we can ask, well, is the if the health plus whatever the amount is, if that is bigger than max health, well, then we can simply set this health equals max health. So if it would be bigger, then we're simply healing up to max health. And if that is not the case, then we can take this one. So mark it, control X to cut it out, control V to paste it in, and there we go. And just to make this the tiniest bit more readable, we'll actually do the following. This would be would be over max health. So we'll make a new Boolean, which will set equal to this. So cutting this out once again, and then putting in the would be over max health here, reads just a little bit nicer. So we can see heal, and then we can see if it's below zero. So if it's a negative amount, we throw the exception. Otherwise, we're going to take a look would be over max health. If that's the case, we're going to set the health to max health. Otherwise, we're just going to add the amount. And then one more thing when we think about it, what happens if we are equal or below zero on health when we damage? Well, then what we want to do is we would, well, we don't want to die, but that would that is what would happen. So if health is smaller or equal to zero, we'll make a new private method in this case called die. And in this case, we will just simply log out. I am dead. And what we'll also do is we will call the destroy method on this game object here. So then this game object gets destroyed. Of course, on a main game, you would want to check a few more things than just destroying the game object probably. But for our little experiment here, that's totally fine. Now let's call this when we have less than zero health. And overall, that is almost it. Let's actually just do one more thing. And that would be some debug inputs here so that we can actually try and test this out. So let's say input, input get key down D and then let's copy this over and take an H. This will be damage 10 and then this will be heal 10. And that's actually all we need for a fairly robust health system of course, there's way more things that you could add. For example, we can't right now set this health individually. We don't have that yet. But overall, it's still a very good first step into a good health system. The great thing is that this class 
we'll actually be using for both the player as well as enemies later down the line. But first of all, let's see if it works. So let's make sure because the knight here does not have our health script attached to him. Let's actually add that as well, save it, and then let's play and see what happens. I can still move around, by the way, so that works. And as you can see, if I press D, I actually get damaged. I also move, which is an interesting observation as well, but I get damaged as well. And if I press H, you can see I heal by 10. So let's press D a couple of times and let's see what happens when we reach the dreaded health of a zero. As you can see, the game object has been destroyed, but before that happened, debug log I am dead has been output to the console. Yeah, pretty much everything worked like we would expect it to, and that's pretty good. So this simply makes the health system a bit more robust. And the great thing is that we can now call the damage or the heal methods from outside of the script because they are public and we can simply pass in an amount and that's gonna then do its thing. Yeah, and that's how easy it is to make the health system just a little bit more robust. That is already it for this video right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would of course, I would of course appreciate a like from you. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. So yeah.